Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. Uh, if you are celebrating, happy Memorial Day. Uh, in honor of Memorial Day, we're playing a Super Friends deck. Uh, no, there is no real correlation between the two, but... Uh, this was recommended by Turn 1 Soul Ring, and we thought we'd play it today. So, uh, for the record, the only changes we made to this list is that we took out one Nicol Bolas, as well as one Elspeth Sun's Nemesis, and put in two Kazmina. Literally, that was just due to, um, wild cards. We didn't have enough wild cards for it all. Uh, but this is, is a jank Super Friends deck. It's gonna be really silly. Uh, but it is based on Umori, so Umori does mean... Uh, you get to uh, essentially uh, make all of these a little bit cheaper, which is really, really nice. Uh, but it is technically five colors, so we've got 25 lands here, all of which we're, we're going to be hoping to hit the right lands. Um, so essentially, this is just a Planeswalker-infused deck. Everything is a Planeswalker. We've got Narset here uh, drawing us more cards. We get to obviously pull more Planeswalkers with it and shut down the opponent's draw, which is great. Chandra, much more of a threat than anything else, kind of an early game threat. Uh, we get to to pump out a few elementals and things like that, which isn't amazing, but it's going to at least let us deal some damage. Um, the minus two does literally nothing. Um, and then the zero uh, does technically hit a number of our different planeswalkers here. So there is some utility there. Uh, Teferi, obviously just a great one. Um, going to help us draw some cards, hopefully tempo the opponent out and protect some of our other planeswalkers, which is great. Uh, Elspeth spits out some tokens. This is a, a truly interesting one because, uh, unlike the other ones, this has escape, uh, which means we can actually play it from our graveyard, uh, if we exile a few other cards. So, uh, kind of interesting to see how this is going to go. Uh, Kazmina, this is the one that we put in. Um, not only does it spit out a creature, which is going to hopefully help us protect some of our planeswalkers, but, uh, anything that a creature or a planeswalker, uh, any, any opponent, uh, any opponent's spell, that's what I was trying to say, uh, that targets any of our Planeswalkers is going to cost two more to cast. So hopefully this is just going to slow them down. This also helps us draw, kind of make sure we hit our lands. Um, <laughs> Narset here, uh, another really good way to kind of fix and uh, gain some life. Uh, so it's going to help us play some of our other Planeswalkers. Um, but not only that, uh, it, ho it does give us a way to kind of deal with creatures on board. Uh, we draw a card, discard a card, and then deal damage equal to the discarded card CMC. Uh, we can do that to target creature or planeswalker. So on the opponent's side, we got a little bit to uh, manage there. Uh, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, uh, as a three of here, stupid good. Uh, gets all other loyalty abilities from all other planeswalkers on the field. So ideally, it's going to have a lot. Um, it also just does a lot on its own. So looking forward to getting this one down. Ashiok Nightmare Muse, a great way to take over the game and again, spit out some tokens. It also gives us a way to bounce some stuff on the opponent's end and hopefully uh, get it out of their hand as well. Uh, Sarkon, really one of the big win cons of the deck, turns everything into a 4-4 dragon uh, that gains flying and then we can swing in. So this is kind of the, the big haymaker. Uh, Liliana here spits out tokens, which is great. Uh, every time any of our creatures dies, we get to draw a card and then each player sacrifices two creatures. We're losing tokens. They're going to be losing actual big creatures. So this is actually fantastic for us. Uh, Chandra, kind of a weird sweeper. Uh, it deals minus or it deals three to every non-elemental creature. So hopefully we can kind of sweep the board depending on what we're against. But it's also just a really good finisher. Also can't be countered, which is really important. Uh, and then a one of Garrick here uh, creates some some little two twos. Uh, and when it dies, you put a loyalty counter on Garrick. That's pretty cool. Uh, but it also gives us a way to destroy a creature and draw a card. Uh, and then, of course, if we minus six it, uh, Emblem gets plus three, plus three, and have trample all of our creatures, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single land here because there is a lot. The only basic land we don't have is a forest, which I think, you know, I, this is our only green planeswalker, so I'm kind of with that. Um, we do have uh, Interplanar Beacon to kind of help us get there, though. Uh, so hopefully we can. This is going to be silly, uh, if I'm honest. I don't I don't have high hopes, uh, but this was recommended by Turn 1 Soul Ring, who's recommended a lot of decks. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for doing so. Um, anybody is welcome to give us uh, deck suggestions. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to, 
Um, there's multiple ways you can do it, obviously. You can just send it to us on social media anywhere. Comment it down below uh, with a link. Or uh, if you're on our Discord, which the link is below, you can join that. It's, it's open to everybody. Anybody can join uh, if you're interested in doing so. Please do, uh, and we can, we can all hang out there. Um, we're going to try and keep this... <laughs> It's gonna be silly. Uh, sorry for the frame rates, little bad, but hopefully not not too terrible. Um, well, yeah, we'll throw this down first. Um, I did kind of play with the network a little bit, so I'm hoping that we can solve at least a little bit of these issues. Um, play interplanar beacon and pass. A lot of this is just gonna be playing land pass uh, until we can play a planeswalker, so that's fine. Everything's fine. Um, yep. Uh, let's just play Teferi. We'll bounce the Anax here. Uh, mostly just to help us draw a card, but also to slow them down a little bit. That's nice. Um, unfortunately, did not draw a land there, so hoping we do next turn. Ooh, Winota. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Chances are we're just going to lose this game, right? Like, very rarely are we going to... What do they... Do they bounce anything here? This is a very silly deck, I just want to point out. Like, it's fun. It's cool. But it's very silly. Look at our hand right now. Um, granted, we're doubling up on some Planeswalkers here, which is not necessarily good. But, like, yeah, we... <laughs> I mean, what? Uh... Let's see. I mean, neither one of these is great. Uh, let's just do this. This just doesn't matter. Um, unfortunately, we didn't hit a land there. I think we should have been up to, like, maybe 26 lands, but this is just game one, so we can't judge based on just that. Um, we'll see. We will see. I don't have high hopes. Um, chances are they just get to hit like a agent or something like that and uh with the winota they can hit agent and then we just kind of lose <laughs> yeah oh they missed well that's good at least um we got a land so that's good uh <laughs> yeah let's play out kazmina <laughs> um let's do this I mean, we just lose, is the problem. We get these guys out, which just don't matter. They just get to eat this if they want. This just feels bad. This just feels so bad. Um, And hey, in all fairness, we didn't hit our land, so. This is such a goldfish kind of deck. We just play a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna concede here. We're dropping some frames anyway, so we'll just jump out. That was bad. That was real bad. Um, worth noting, turn one Soul Ring, uh, when he suggested this list, uh, did just kind of mention, like, this is kind of a silly list, it's just for fun, so, um, worth noting that, uh, that this was meant to be a fun one. And it is pretty cool, like, if it, my thing is, like, Planeswalkers in general are, like, a very, um, how do I put this? Like, if you, if you can get them out, and they get to do their thing, they're amazing. Uh, but they don't necessarily get to do their thing right away. And that's what makes it a little bit tricky. Um, we'll try it. We will try it. Let's just play out the interplanar beacon here. Um, good we have two of these in the opening hand because that's really going to help us fix our mana. Um, but it also will gain us life once we start playing out some of our planeswalkers, which is nice. Um, looks like we're against... Obosh, so Rakdos Hagro, which is just going to be great. He says optimistically. Yeah. So next turn we Narset. Um, drawing, hope. I mean, it's going to be another Planeswalker. Um, but hopefully something to bounce, maybe like a Teferi or something along those lines uh, to kind of bounce what they're going to be doing. Worth noting, though, we do have five mana in our hands. So we were actually doing okay in terms of the mana stuff. Uh, and with these interplanar beacons, I'm not so much, or, or so worried, excuse me, about the fixing, which is great. Um, so we'll see. 
We shall see. We are going to have to shock ourselves here, which is going to kind of suck, but it is what it is. They're running a bit slowly, it seems. Just throw this out. Let's go Narset. We get to uh, gain our two life back off of the interplanar beacon, which is kind of nice. Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think we take that. As much as I love Teferi, I think we got to take that. And that gives us a nice four and five. We already had Ashiok as a five, but this is a better five. So we're probably going to take that. Oh, is this Menace Tribal? Oh, this is a silly one. Um, let's go ahead and activate. Sarkon gives us our wink on. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll get a black source here. Perfect. And we'll just do this. Gain a couple life back. And we'll create a couple tokens. Okay, the opponent gave up. That was a little preemptive, I think. But that's fine by me. <laughs> um, we got a win. <laughs> yeah. Turn one soul ring. Your deck is awesome. Um, this is so silly. These games are going to be really quick, too. Um, it... <sighs> I don't know. It's a Planeswalker only deck. Like, it's supposed to be just fun. I love playing jank decks like this, though. I will say it's really, really fun to see. Like, that that game, I mean, we were doing okay. We were probably going to be okay regardless, but... Um, we'll keep... I think we'll lean on the Fable Passage, honestly. And just, um... Yeah. Oh, interesting. Leyline, huh? We'll lean on the Fable Passage, and we'll just get, like, a blue source, I think. Just to make sure that we've got all that we need. Um, very interesting. Uh, yeah, let's just play this out and pass. Frame rate's doing a lot better this game. Uh, still a little sketchy in the first two, but we didn't dip quite as low as we have in the past. Oops. Um, let's play this. Let's slow this down. Um, I think we just bounced the ley line, honestly. Um, both of those are really, really good cards against us, but like, uh, the ley line they have to replay. This they they just replay and kill to fairy like immediately. Um, granted, this does have issues with it's gonna just you know kind of build up a lot of stuff, which is not good. Um, but next turn we get to Elspeth Conquers, or Elspeth Sons Nemesis, excuse me. Again. Elspeth Conquers Death. Clearly I've been playing too much standard. Um, so that out there. Oh, we don't. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Um, let's do Planeswalker. I forgot this is two different colors. Um, so in hindsight, drawing the Watery Grave makes me think we should have just gotten a white source because now we could have done a lot more. Um, but that's okay. Interesting, interesting. First strike and death touch now. Not gonna attack with that. Um, I'm gonna say no blocks. I don't know if that's correct or not, but if we draw a land, we can start Liliana-ing which we didn't, which kind of sucks. But we do get to Ashiok here. And that's kind of nice. Um, I think here we get to bounce one of their things, which is also quite nice. Let's bounce that back, and then they need to exile a card from their hand. We've got to follow up Ashiok, so like if they kill this one, I don't particularly care that much. Uh, what did they exile? Aphemia. Okay. And we'll not attack. Um... We probably block if they decide to attack in. Um, that does mean they get to kill some stuff here, but like I think that's okay. Um, clearly, they're looking to do a lot more damage, so I think I'm actually okay with that. I did bounce this because they didn't attack with this last turn, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm going to do this. This gives them the choice of what they want to kill, but that does mean we potentially get to keep Ashiok around. And Ashiok is really what we care more about. Um, 
It's not great for us because this gets to kill it, and maybe this was a maybe maybe I misplayed. I probably misplayed. That's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Um, we really need a land, and we're not getting it. Um, definitely think twenty six land would have been helpful. What did we hit? A giant. Uh, I have to discard a card. Let's discard this. Chandra doesn't feel all that great in this deck, uh, if I'm honest. It's nice to have like somewhat of an aggressive thing, but I don't think that that's a very good one, personally. Land is helpful. Very, very helpful. Um, let's do this. I think we'll bounce this and make him exile another card. We're taken to you there, but that's okay. Next turn we get to drop drop like an Elspeth um, and start kind of protecting what we're doing a little bit better. <sighs> well, we'll see if we can do it. I can get two creatures out this turn. Yeah. They get crystalline crystalline giant out and it gets haste. That would suck. Oh, okay. I love your Ooh, that's helpful. That is very helpful. Uh let's drop you. And I think we just do this, right? Gain a couple life. This is our, like one of the big haymakers, so let's get another 2-2 two -two out just so we can block this. Um, and we'll see what they want to do. It's really good that all of your instants and sorceries have, like, that's very, very cool. Um, and now they can kill Ashiok. We have another one, so it's like kind of fine, but, you know, it is what it is. Nice. First strike. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Take it down to four. Or excuse me, buy four. Let's do this. We'll do this. I have to do this. I'm kind of playing this a little bit safe. Um, let's drop this out there. They're down to no cards in hand, so like I kind of just want to have blockers, I think. That's cool. Ozolith is very sweet. I like that card. And Reach. Well, that is not helpful for the opponent. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do this. I kind of just want to clear as much as possible. Liliana is dying here, no matter what. Um, and that's fine. It's dying because of this, by the way. Dried Horde Butcher. Like, 100% they're going to kill Lily. I would assume. Maybe they're going to try and deal with Ashiok? See, now we draw like a butt ton of cards. So, that's pretty good. I mean, that feels pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's play the beacon. For sure. Um, spit out you, spit out you, spit out you. Um, is this what we want to do? Let's, yeah, let's do it. We gain three. We can do so many things. Um, we're just going to do this. Yeah, we take two, but we're gaining three just for playing a Planeswalker. Um, discard two cards. 
We'll discard you and you. That's fine. Unfortunately there, because we played, um, I mean, I don't really know if there was a different configuration, but the way that we played, we couldn't play two things, but that's okay. Um, with Liliana out, we just get to draw so much in this deck. It's like kind of sweet. I'm kind of falling for this deck a little bit, guys. I really like it. Uh, turn one soul ring. This is a fun one. Um, do I think it's good? Probably like in the best of one ladder. No, realistically, probably not, but this is why we do this kind of thing, so we can kind of test it out and see. So, that's fine. Okay. That was really good. And because of Lily, uh, Leyline of the Void, excuse me, um, obviously we don't get to get any of those back. And that's fine. I mean, it sucks, but it's fine. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm just going to drop Sarkon so we can kind of start looking to end the game, so to speak. <laughs> um, and this is why Sarkon is the big finisher, because we get to attack with our Planeswalkers. Um, we didn't win that turn, but chances are now we're, we're in a position where we probably just win. Um, this is an interesting deck too, by the way. I haven't really seen this one. Uh, in this capacity, at least before. This is a little bit different. I'm just going to do that. I love the Ashiok tokens. They're so, like, I don't know. They're just really cool. They get to kill a thing here. That's fine. Or hit me. I think they've not really been hitting the right things with their... Um, with their Dreadhorde Butchers also. Like, they've been able to deal a good bit of damage. Sometimes they've killed Planeswalkers, but a lot of times they haven't. All right, there we go. We won. Um, okay, so thoughts so far. Um, this deck is silly. Weirdly, it kind of worked. Um, the first, or, or one game, obviously it didn't, but like in general, it's kind of sweet. Um, it's a little silly to think, like we haven't really seen Umori do its thing. We did one turn, I think, of that game, which was cool, but like most of the time it's just kind of there because yeah, it can cheapen them, but like, it's just silly. I, I don't know what else to say other than it's kind of fun and a little bit janky, but it's very expensive to make because it has a lot of planeswalkers as, as expected. But I, I mean, if you've got them, it's a really fun deck to just try out and play. Uh, we'll jump into a second video with this, of course. So we'll see another three games with it and just kind of see how it does there. But I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of in. We'll we'll see how it goes. Um, just want to mention, if you're interested in picking up any of the Full Art Basic Lands, you can do that at our website, AversolvesMTG.com. We created those. We're very happy about them. Um, also, uh, just about a week left uh, for Patreon rewards this month. If you're interested in picking those up, you can do so. Uh, the, the cycle is uh, Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avacyn Angel of Hope. Now, that's a very, very good lineup. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about this month. Hopefully you guys are too. If you're interested, please do go ahead and sign up. Uh, again, only about a week left. Those are going to change at the beginning of the next month. Uh, so at the beginning of June, we're going to see those change. So just a heads up, uh, and make sure to enter our Coria giveaway. We've got a lot of stuff going on, so do all the things. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching. I will see you very soon for part two with this Amori Super Friends deck, uh, brought to us by Turn One Soul Ring on Discord. Thanks a lot.